people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about Clarissa Shields versus Savannah Marshall because that was obviously the big talk at the weekend, you know, following Clarissa Shields' uh, very, very uneventful and one sided uh, win over uh, Emma Cozen. You know, she got the win via UD. Uh, wasn't much as far as knockdowns, but she, she gave her a beating, landed a lot of good body shots, good win for her. Uh, a lot was made of the post-fight interview when her and Savannah Marshall started joining back and forth where Savannah Marshall told Clarissa Shields that if she if she fights like that against her, that she she's going to wipe the floor with her. She's going to beat her like she stole something. You know, that was also the same interaction where Ben Shalom, you know, very... Um, unprofessionally told Cluster Shields, you have a loss in your record, and it's Savannah Marshall. And you know what? A lot of people people made a big deal about that, saying that Ben Shalom is is not a he's not being professional as a promoter. But you know what? That shit worked because Ben Shalom, he's accomplished something that Eddie Hearn took years to accomplish. Now with he's doing it now with Serrano and Taylor and the help of Jake Paul, you know he he he's done something that Frank Warren couldn't do, that Bob Arum couldn't do, that really. Nobody's been able to do in boxing, and that's get the the the, the majority, the, the a big part of boxing. A lot of people uh, excited about women's boxing, you know, and this potential fight with Savannah Marshall and Cluster Shields. And you know what? It's a hell of a fight. It truthfully is a hell of a fight. You know, you got the great amateur pedigree and the and the great silky smooth boxing skills that Cluster Shields bring to the table. And she's starting to really develop a, more of a pro style to where she's actually throwing those punches to the body, those grown woman punches to the body. And uh, she's hurt. she's starting to hurt her opponents. Maybe she's not getting knockouts, but she's beating them up slowly. And sometimes that's actually worse than for the opponent than, than getting knocked out. Sometimes you rather you rather to get knocked out than get a slow methodical beatdown. And that's what Clarissa is doing to a lot of these girls uh, over the last you know like two fights or so, three fights or so under um, John David Jackson. You know what I'm saying? So she she's doing her thing. And then you got Savannah Marshall, who is a long rangy boxer puncher, putting girls out. You know, truthfully one of the hardest hitting. Females in women's boxing right now, um, Savannah Marshall. You no, know, she 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 comes to knock people silly on their ass. You know, she got she she has nine knockouts in eleven fights, so she's doing her thing, and I think it's a great fight because you know, unlike Serrano Taylor, which I think is also a great fighter women's boxing, what that fight lacks. I'm not, I'm not saying that every fight needs to have this for it to be a great fight or a big fight, but it definitely doesn't hurt to have a bit of a uh, rivalry, a bit of animosity, a bit of a of a storyline. And, you know, with this fight, you got a storyline. You got Clarissa Shields, the, the two-time gold medalist, the self-proclaimed, quote, the greatest woman of all time. Talking about, you know, how great she is and whatnot. But even though, as far as great as she is, she's been so dominant. And this is through no fault of her own. But she's been so dominant that maybe she's lacked that, that true signature fight, that true rivalry, that true nemesis to get people truthfully invested in her career. And what a narrative we have because for a woman that did so much in the amateurs, in the, you know, for, a woman, for a woman's boxing, blazing a trail, when she was blazing that trail, when she was an amateur, she had a loss. And as Ben Shalom eloquently pointed out, that loss came to Savannah Marshall. So this actually gives Cluster, this actually makes it interesting because, you know, we're going to see Cluster Shields fight the girl she lost to in the amateurs. And that girl can punch. Now, obviously, she still has to. She has a, a, a fight on the uh, March twelfth. Savannah Marshall. Savannah Marshall. She has to win that fight before this fight even becomes a reality. And she's fighting a girl that uh, Clarissa fought and already beat in twenty like eighteen to twenty seventeen. So that has to happen before this fight can happen. But it's a hell of a fight if it can happen because um, Savannah Marshall can crack. She can really, really punch. And a lot of people, a lot of people don't like Clarissa Shields. So because they don't like Clutch of Shields and because this girl can crack, there's a lot of people that are picking Savannah Marshall to, to, to really hurt Clutch of Shields and, and, and just fold her up like a blue steel chair and send her home packing with the first loss in a professional boxing career. And I'm looking at this fight being for that pound, you know, potentially being for that pound for pound number one spot because, um, because of who Clutch of Shields is. If, if Savannah Marshall beats Clutch of Shields, especially if she knocks her out, you know, there's just no way you can't consider putting her in that pound for pound number one spot or at least top three because um you know she's she's a hell of a fighter hell of a fighter and uh i think this is great this is great for Clarissa because people don't like her and i think this fight's actually to get people invested 
some people, not everybody, because some, some people just, some people will never like women's boxing. And I get it, you know, sometimes I don't even like women's boxing, but I love this fight. Um, Clarissa Shields hasn't really had people emotionally invested in her career. They've, they've disliked her, but not in the way, not in the same way that they've disliked other fighters like Floyd Mayweather or other fighters, you know, because people, people hated Mayweather, but they would pay to see him lose. People just hate Clarissa Shields, but they don't want to pay to see her. So at least with this fight, there's that, there's that looming probability that she might get knocked out and it might actually get people to say, you know what, let's check this fight out. Let's see if Clarissa Shields gets her ass knocked out. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for the future of women's boxing. I think women's boxing is getting ready for a banner year. You know, you got this fight with uh, Taylor and Serrano. This potential fight of Savannah Marshall wins her next fight. You got Sneeza Estrada, who probably looked to unify titles this year. You know, you got Alicia Bumgard and the Michaela Mayer saga. There's a lot of positive things to, 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 to think, to talk about when you talk about women's boxing. And you got to give them the just do because they are really do, putting on great shows and great fights. So, um, yeah, man. Really, really excited about Savannah Marsh versus Clutcher Shields. To me, in my opinion, it's the most exciting fight in women's boxing. And, and, and it's also, in my opinion, and I'm going to have to correct myself, it's the real biggest fight in women's boxing history because, yes, Taylor and Serrano is between two great fighters. We take nothing away from those two warriors. But Savannah Marsh versus Clutcher Shields, it just has history behind it. it had, like I'm talking about it dates back all the way back to like the... 2012 and whatnot and it's been brewing for a long time and then you know you had like when Clarissa turned pro she was the American darling but then America's most famous one of America's most famous boxers ever Floyd Mayweather had signed Savannah Marshall so like there's just so many interesting narratives and stories to this fight how could it not be the biggest fight in women's box history you know so I'm gonna leave it at that you guys uh let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.